How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing some Kepri. And let's see. No, I haven't used this skin yet. Muffin. Let's use this skin. I'm up against our posh. So I have a little, a little story to tell. So usually my MMR is around 2200, 2300. Maybe higher, maybe lower, right? It fluctuates a lot. And uh, that's pretty good, right? It's it's like high diamond. I'm usually at diamond two. Well, my past two streams, I have lost so much that now, if you guess what my Eva bar is, it's around 1630, I think it was. So yeah, I've been losing a lot. And that's kind of has to do with why I've, the uploads have been a little sporadic because I just, you know, after losing a lot it's kind of hard to be like all right let's get a game for youtube but oh well we're, we're already basically at the bottom so i'm like screw it we're gonna go auto attack kepri and uh we're gonna make it work <laughs> so uh yeah that's, that's pretty much the plan <clears throat> we do not want i figured there's no harm in telling you guys where my mmr is at since uh uh, it's, it's well, it's the truth. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys have all been doing good. We're up against a diamond. Is that diamond that posh skin, or is that just a frost skin? I can't actually tell. Luckily, I don't have a heal, so that's good for me. Get one of the corpses, which helps lower his clear, which is good. Wait, Gilded Arrow. I could have went mannequins, but I think I went mannequins last time I did auto attack Kepri. So we're going to try... Gilded arrow instead this time. Oh, I hate that bug too, Outwash. I hate that bug too. His corpses appeared where they shouldn't have. And that's first blood. Ayo. Yeah, there's a bug with Outwash. It's happened to me a few times. I've actually lost kills because of it. Where I guess if you're right next to minions, you use your one. It should just appear right on the minions. Instead, it keeps going. And the animation for where the corpses get, like, deployed oh, um, are not where they should be. Only the best ingredients make their way into my creations. Does this skin have a, da like, a special? It doesn't. That was sweet! I love skins like this because uh, I think they were, it was, I think this was a community concept. my cherry on top! So I always love seeing community concept skins getting into Smite. It's really cool. You don't see that too often in other games. There's a period of time where Smite had so many community concepts that were just killing it. And none of them were making it to the game. I was like, come on. And then slowly but surely they made their way into the game. Like Bandito, Savannah, uh, Titan Hell. There's a lot of them, which is awesome to see. I would use the Crab Rave Kepri, but uh, YouTube... <clears throat> YouTube DMCA doesn't or not I guess not DMCA but YouTube copyright doesn't like that one too much. Make sure the oven doesn't get too hot. Okay, okay. He's going max cooldown. He's not going the the gem build, which I think is actually insane on Apwash. I should play Apwash again. He's fun. He's a fun god. He's also an underrated god, I think. Get those ovens preheated. It's time to get into the mix. Also, for my last Sylvanas video where I went over the passive, uh, it does seem like um, in other game modes, like if you hit your one on three enemy gods or you hit your ultimate on five enemy gods, it does make a little passive seed pod for each one. So that makes this passive way better in other game modes. And not only that, but one thing that I uh, didn't realize, and I should do another video on it because it's actually really good, is late game, if you group up the minions and just use your one like three times in a row, you can get the cooldown for your ultimate back like instantly, which is pretty insane. And that's really good late game because Savant Salt is good. It scales harder than Poseidon Alt, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to do another video with that where I try that. Okay, we're doing good damage. Doing good damage. Our goal is to pretty much just go pure auto attack. This build is only going to work against gods without escapes. Because when I get hastened ring, I can just stick to him. 
and he won't be able to get away. And hopefully we kill him before he kills me. That's pretty much a plan. Okay, I don't want to stay in that ultimate. That'll do too much damage to me. Might be able to kill him. Uh, unless he beats. I can sprint towards him and kill him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you have been slain. Oh, I got him. Yes. Okay, it's worth. It's worth. It's worth. I, I was looking at the numbers very intensely there. I'm going to get my ult now. I usually don't get my ult on Capri right away because eh, it's not. I feel like against Outpost specifically, it's all right. It's funny because if I had it, I would have lived. But then maybe I wouldn't have had the damage to kill him. Because usually you just use it and then they just kill you instantly. Like Apwash can place the corpses and then anything. just explode them right when you come back. In other game modes, it's amazing because it revives you at Kepri's location, which is not where you died. You know, for uh, when you revive a teammate. More sprinkles. Yeah, my plan was actually to sprint through the corpse and the explosion and hopefully get out of the range of it. And that's why I was hoping to live last time. Look at all this gold. Mm -mm -mm. Nice stuff, dude. Good stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Kepri. Alright, I'm gonna back on out of here. Okay, so now looks like he's getting some sort of Genjis. I should get Shoguns uh, right after... What am I building? Hasten Ring? Telkines is amazing here, but Hasten Ring is like the most important part because, again, he doesn't have an escape. If I auto-attack him, then I just stay right next to him the entire time. Also, Wing Blade. Uh, maybe I could go Wing Blade instead of Shoguns, or I could get both. Because mobility is kind of the name of the game here. Yeah, actually, I'll go wing blade. That'll be better. Only the best ingredients make Let's get some rewards. This is good. Three and one. Again, I have no idea where matchmaking is because I've lost so much ammo bar. I feel like I, I mean, it's it's funny because it's not like I lost every game. I lost a lot of games, but I also won some. So just the fact that my ammo bar went from 20, 200, 2300 to where it's at now is just kind of. Drastic is all. I kind of wasted my face ring there, unfortunately. Because he was too close to his tower. Well, let's put more points in the one right now. I level up the three because the root's pretty good for holding him in place. Leveling up the one is kind of meh here because I cancel it instantly anyways. So getting the extra CC doesn't really help me. Because, you know, I, I want to be auto-attacking. I don't want to just be pulling him and not doing anything. In the early game, it was good to pull him and keep him in the wave. But now we're getting to the point where we're pretty much going to be canceling it uh, every time. Unless something else happens. Second relic, let's see. I don't really need to hold on to my second relic because I already have sprint, so he can't surprise me with a horrific or anything like that. Um, could go thorns. Thorns is okay here. It's not great. Uh, could go Aegis. Aegis would be good. Blink would be good. Sunder would be very good. Or even a Curse Donk. Curse Donk sounds weird, but it means if he picks up any of his corpses, he'll take that additional damage. And he won't get to do the max cooldown. Did it healing thing? You're my cherry on top. Make it till you make it. Can I kill him though? Are you a 
Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, if I held on to my one there, uh, it wouldn't have helped me at all. Just had to cancel instantly. Good stuff. Another reason why I level the three over the two is just for the instant burst damage. Like rooting them and then you hit them with the two anyways. Trying to get as much damage there as possible. Probably should have tried to take red. But that's okay. Just the entire damage. All right, we're backing on out of here, getting wing blade. In fact, we're getting a lot of movement speed in this build. Um, he went ages. I'm gonna go Sunder. I think Sunder will be the strat, and then we could get either Toxic Blade for attack speed, or Divine Rune for power. Because I have a lot of attack speed, but I don't have a lot of power. Oh, he's stayed just out of my range. Tasty treat. Okay, okay. Now, usually on Capri, I have things like Bancrofts, which actually lets me sustain and stay in a fight. And I don't have any life still right now. Could think about her Ring of the Kate, but it's kind of it's kind of meh when I don't have a lot of power for it to increase, you know, uh, you know to increase my damage with. Same thing with Telkines, but we'll see. I definitely need an anti-heal item though, um, because late game up watch you can just run place corpses infinitely and just heal a bunch. Since we have a lot of movement speed, I mean, why not double down with the toxic blade, right? What this will mean is if I have a bad fight, I can just run away and he won't be able to chase me. So I, I think that's good. Oh, I need telekines. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing any damage anymore. I need telekines. It is now a necessity. I'm surprised he's not just placing corpses in place and healing. Oh, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Is he getting spirit mages? That's what it looks like. Take it till you make it. Hmm, I need to get that tower down. Because if I get he get if I get that tower down, then I can start going for a Demon King. Because I have an auto attack build. Because I can't really XP deny against an Apwash because of his range. I'll stay. I'll stay. I have blue buffs. And I can't really buy Toxic Blade yet anyways. Tasty treats. He's gonna be up there. Eh, I don't want to wait that long. Yeah, no. Because if he stopped my back there, it would be kind of hard to fight, and it wouldn't be super difficult, but it would be a little bit. What I need to do is I need to get him down to about half health, and then that's when I'll double sunder him and just full commit with my ultimate. Almost like how Cali would. <laughs> Almost like how Cali would with their ultimate, which is funny. I'm like a watered down version of Cali with this build. He didn't even take these, which is nice, but now red buffs up. And he probably took that. Whoops. Yeah. I still kind of wanted Shoguns, but I think Toxic Blade to Demonic Grip uh, will be the final build. With Diamond Arrow, we'll have a lot of damage with that. Okay. We now have enough items where, like, he's not going to be able to heal. And I think what I want to do is I want to try to bait out his ultimate, disengage, and then take the next fight. Because I, if I go try to kill him with his ultimate, eh, it might be a little bit too risky. Oh, if I get this tower here. Oh, I might commit to this tower. Yeah, this is super important. Okay, nice. Got his ultimate. If he follows me, we try to kill him. Oh, his, his blue buff is up too. Yeah. 
I got both of his relics. Oh, that's so good. Now we're just gonna do this to kind of bait him. To get him closer. Just like that. Okay, double thunder. Pull him a little bit farther. Kabit! Kabit! No! Kepri! Oh, I got fat shamed. <laughs> I got fat shamed on that Phoenix. The minion body blocked me. Oh, I couldn't have gone around either. I would have taken way too much damage. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. That's okay. That was the recipe for a perfect fight. His Both of his routes were down. His ultimate was down. He was a little bit out of position being baited because he didn't want to lose his blue buff. Uh, it, was, it was almost, almost. Get those ovens preheated. It's time to get into the meal of tasty treats. I just realized, I think I'm going to be overcapped on cool, on attack speed, so I might swap Toxic Blade for Divine Ruin like you. Just to have additional power. Because when I get Diamond Arrow, that's going to give a huge amount of attack speed. And we don't want to be overcapped. Because then there's no reason to not have Divine Ruin. Um, and now I can start doing what I really want to do, which is bait Demon King. I don't know if he plays the ward here. He might have. Okay, that's his ultimate. Getting his ultimate's always worth. Especially if he didn't really do anything with it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to do what I used to do, which is basically kill the archers and not the melees. And that'll kind of keep the wave in the middle of the map and it'll buy me a bit more time to go for demon king it's a weird thing that i used to do like it's just to kind of keep him away from the wave and now i'll go try to go for demon king and it keeps the wave in the middle of the map rather than over here that way he kind of has to choose between the wave and me oh i don't have that damage without telekines Yeah, I think I have to commit in this. Take it till you make it. There we go. No All right, Are push with the wave. Push with the wave. He's dead for 30 seconds. Uh, this is a pie for help. Yeah. My shield's actually helping me. The Capri passive. Ah, uh, uh, I, I hope I don't get his shot by Phoenix here. Please take two shots, Brute. Thank you. Please don't kill me! Okay. I, I have to run. I have to run, unfortunately. Ah, I got a little bit of Phoenix. If I had Diamond Arrow, Diamond Arrow actually gives so much auto attack damage that you can just take Phoenix almost instantly. Even on Kepri. Is that a Witch Blade? Is that a witch blade to counter my auto attack Kepri? Oh my goodness. I've never seen it. I've never seen witch blade built in response to auto attack Kepri. But now I'm not going to be overcapped on attack speed. <laughs> I don't know if he warded, but that's why I got a sentry. We do not want to overbake anything. This is going to scare him. The fact that I took that ward and then started walking towards Demon King. Uh, I think he's going to come and try to stop me. And then we'll kill him. There it is. The hasten ring? The hasten ring? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I should be able to push with the wave here. That should be plenty of time. Could also go for Demon King instead if I wanted to be a little bit safer. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough time? I should. I should. I have a lot of attack speed, so I can take this pretty fast with minions. Without minions, I would not be able to take it. Guild Darrow gave me a little bit of attack speed. I think it did. Maybe I didn't actually get the last hit. Got Phoenix? 
And with Phoenix down, that's the hardest part of playing most Guardians, uh, is getting Phoenix. Once Phoenix is down, we're, we're in a really good spot. Really good spot. Okay, our damage is going to be insane with this. Uh... Oh, I can wait to pick up this blue buff with this Diamond Arrow. 80 base exact damage, 100 health, and it gives up to 60% attack speed. Which we will be overcapped for a while. I can still sell Toxplay for Divine Rune. His Witchblade is actually not going to make any difference because I'm overcapped once I kill uh, minions. You're my cherry on top. <laughs> the fear in his eyes. I could, I could sense it. Oh, I didn't get close enough. If I got close enough for the auto attack, Hasten Ring would have uh, went into effect. I would have gotten him. That's okay. That's okay. You a tasty treat. I don't know if it's worth Sundrake here. Yes. Yes. And with that, we have our auto attack Kepri win. Ayo. Look at that auto attack damage. 1371. This is one of, uh, basically, whenever I go auto attack Kepri, I always pray to go against a god without an escape. Because if they don't have an escape, Hasten Ring becomes insanely good. And you can actually just shred them like a blunder. Yay, my Mamara is above uh, <laughs> uh, 1700 can. Yay. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to 2200, but just had some bad streams where I lost so many games back to back. Still diamond, though. But yeah. Uh, GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.